Okay, uh, my name is Mike Sayer. I'm a network engineer um, at CCI, solely focused on automation. Been in the industry about 20 years, and uh, 14 of that is a network engineer. So. Perfect, and before that, you were at Midco. That's right. What did you do there? I was a network engineer. I actually had two tours there. On the second tour, uh, very quickly after I came back online uh, to them, I started doing network automation. I would go around the network and find different ways to make things better, more efficient, more repeatable. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, I kind of had to do it under the radar because it wasn't really a part of the job description, but I was very passionate about it. And uh, it became a new opportunity for me to express myself in the learning and uh, realize how quickly it was very valuable and uh, produced a spreadsheet for my boss that showed all the time savings that it could um, do for us. Yep. And uh, it came down to the point where she was like, just keep on doing that. <laughs> just so, do it. It was so fun. Yes. So, so we were talking the other night and you talk about passion. Like, you use that word a lot, just so you know. Yes, I'm kind of known for that. Uh, I've been told that a few times. But uh, for me, the passion really becomes in being a network engineer for so long, there's high burnout. It's very stressful. There's always more work and we can't continue to do it the way we've always done it. It's very manual in nature, very error prone. So that stress translates into people's lives. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I wanna empower network engineers to be faster, better, more efficient so that they can have better home lives. Because mm -hmm. if you're a better father, better son, better brother, better wife, better mom, it's, it's an amazing feeling that I, I get to pass forward to other people. Right, right. Uh, so that really gets me. So it's, it, all the technology is great. I've learned a lot of different things. I have so much more to learn, but it's all about helping that guy. Yeah, so. and talk about that more. Like I listened to your, your talk today and, and it came, one of the things I actually wrote down was that, and you just kind of described it, but cutover. I mean, you, you've done those cutovers right. late at night. I, as a sales guy back in the day, actually just sat next to the engineers that were doing mm -hmm. the, the 2 a.m. cutover, right. and I'm like, oh. There's so much stress. candy bar right. and all that stuff, and then the day doesn't, it starts again at 8 right. a.m. Like yes, exactly. So I mean, yeah. it really was pretty cool how that came through today. Like you, you cool. really want to help yes, sir. the actual engineer. So again, mm -hmm. just kind of like jump into that, like the right. cutovers and what you experienced. Sure. And well, there's this there's this manual process that happens. To the, sorry, it gets to the why though. You and I talked sure. about that. Right? I feel yeah. like that leads I wanna, to this yeah. why. I want to try to uh, <coughs> get rid of those stress feelings that they have. There's so much buildup leading to a big maintenance, you know, because. As a service provider, you're talk, typically talking about routers that are that can be upwards of a quarter of a million dollars, thousands of users going through them. If you don't do something right, you just affected those, and no one wants to have that happen. You don't want your boss coming down to you the next day and say, why did all those users go down? Because I made a mistake. Because mm -hmm. it was three in the morning and I was tired. Uh, those are stressful situations that I've been through hundreds of times. I've seen both good and bad situations happen with those, and I've seen network engineers just crack. It's just stressful, yeah. and I think that's kind of like a thing that people don't really realize. Uh, so if I can find ways, unique creative ways that are cost effective to help mitigate that, mm -hmm. it makes everybody better. And that's a, that's a feel good for me, that's the, like one of the most important things. And so automation does that? I mean, Automation can do that, absolutely, yeah. yes. So you, you typically, so. in our industry, think about, okay, automation helps the company that you're helping to automate. Mm -hmm. Um, configs that, that take place without having to go into the into the equipment and different things like that but right. but I really like this idea like automation to you where it starts is you want to help that engineer right. absolutely yep that's uh, like because no one f should feel that much stress because like I said it, it there's a domino effect that happens so if that guy goes home stressed out he might not have a great uh, situation with his wife or his child. He may not have um, interacted the way he would have liked to mm -hmm. if uh, he didn't have that baggage and that stress. So um, that's super important to me. Yeah, so the personal side has driven you into this passion of yours. Absolutely. Now talk a little bit about um, just what automation brings to, to customers, to our customers. Right. right. So we've kind of covered the, the, the part of it that helps network engineers. but. Mm -hmm. As these networks grow and the complexity and the amount of devices goes up, sure, we cover automation for that, but it goes even further than that. Uh, it's all about a self-serve nature. And uh, if you think of the Verizons of the world, you can make changes from your phone or from a, a portal for your own service. And that's the best customer right. service you can get. Right. Uh, the, the speediest uh, you can get the service to the customer that changes, the better. 
So with the automation products that we're dealing with, we can enable service providers to enable their own customers so that they give their customers a better experience and uh, provide more value and a differentiation to the next guy next door that might be trying to compete with them. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, many faceted. And so back to the personal life and uh, your martial arts passion, mm -hmm. you do a great job of tying that into automation. Mm -hmm. Kind of walk through that real quick. Right. So. The journey started five years ago where I didn't know anything about programming, mm -hmm. but I went through Cisco Live, I saw CCIE or Python, and I'd been contemplating upping my certifications from professional to expert, and there's a lot of work that goes with that. Again, more stress and more pain, and um, I sat through the whole thing hoping that he would give me an answer like, which one should I do? And then at the end, the guy goes, you should really do both, or whatever passion you have. Like, I'm going to take a leap of faith, and I'm going to learn Python. Python is becoming the industry standard for scripting languages, like foundational scripting things to make uh, programs and scripts and things work better for people. Uh, so I just started diving in, self-taught. I went to the end of the earth, done Google and back, uh, took online training courses, and then started small. I, I knew I had to start small because it was overwhelming at first. So some of the first scripts were probably four lines. But now I, I'm able to, in the past five years, I, I have a code base out there that is in our beta uh, environment right now that's a thousand lines. Hmm. But it's matured and it's way better than in the beginning. So just like a martial arts journey, I started off small with single scripts, but now I got multiple scripts that have modules that are calling things. I'm like, this is growing into something amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's so exciting. So. so on the martial arts side, you're, you're black belt? I am, yes sir. So chop a block. I can. Wow. <laughs> we should do the block chop. That would be way better than all this other talk. You should chop collarbones and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's, it builds upon each other, and everyone wants to go to the black belt. <laughs> everyone wants to get a black belt. Mm -hmm. Like, but there's a process, and a, and a, not only like physically learning of the technique, but how that technique works and why, and it builds upon itself. So, uh, a, a black belt is just a white belt that never quit. You got to keep going, keep building up your skills, and it's all foundational. So it all grows upon. So that's how I feel about automation. Like we're going to start with those very small scripts that build up to big things, and help our customers through that journey wherever they're at. Sure. So and you say where wherever they're at. So a customer, um, a telephone company, a cable company, a service provider has interest or hears the word automation. What's their first step? What the do they first do? step, in my opinion, is to educate their network engineer. There's going to be a shift that happens in the industry, and it's kind of starting now, where a traditional network engineer, uh, if he does not become a hybrid engineer, he has to be able to be able to speak to that pr hardcore programmer to help, because he doesn't want the, pro the software guy to touch his network. Right. So he has to be able to speak that guy's language at some basic fundamental level, and the best way to do that is to learn the basics, REST API, Linux, Python scripting so that you can say, I want it to do this, and then he's going to be able to take the developer, we'll take it to that next level and be able to really put a nice front end on it with the safety and controls of a network engineer facing the network devices. Because mm -hmm. that's the whole thing of software-defined networking is you have some software application that can make changes on a network. Um, there's a lot that goes into that, but we got to start somewhere. So. You, you don't. You shouldn't start at the big solution or even try. And I, I kind of make fun of the industry about that because they they did a top down approach. Like you need this eight million dollar product. Mm -hmm. I, I can I contend that uh, no. Let's have more education. Let's work our way up so we can actually consume it intelligently. And I would say that many service providers have not even made the choice to be a white belt. So there's the opportunity is huge. And like I talked about earlier, there's this vicious cycle of they don't have time to automate. So partners like us are in a perfect spot to help them wherever they're at. Mm -hmm. it, whether it's training, or if it's custom solutions, or if it's a Cisco software product that we can help them with, uh, we're ready to do that. So the first thing is conversation. Get a hold of us, right. get Mike in there, and get the process started through conversation. Right. No obligations to doing that. Absolutely. Um, and I, I know through your passion you love doing that. Um, I'll, do it, I'll do it a million times. I know you want He'll go to, anywhere to do I it. I want to talk to every customer. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so. We want you to. Um, so CCI, you only been here, how long did you say? A year and a half. I was going to say, feels like a year. Yep. Um, uh, it's going by quick, but why did you choose CCI and, and right. was it a good choice? Absolutely, it's been a great choice. So honestly, five years ago when I found this bug of automation, I'm like, it was great. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing good stuff here. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, why would I want to do this for one customer, one business, when I could do it for hundreds? Right. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to go work at CCI someday. I didn't tell anybody. I just made a few connections and I'm like, I'm gonna get there. And it took a couple years yep. you know, like of uh, seeding ideas and things, but 
I knew I was going to be right here, right now, actually. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's not crazy. Goals. Yeah. You set goals. You got to do it. And this so. is what Mike is. So, I mean, it was fun talking to you the, the other night. So Mike approached me, said, hey, I want to tell you my why. I'm like, not many people do that. So here we are. Here's your why. I'm a believer. Like you set goals, you get it done. Right. And what I'm most excited about is how you can take that passion, take that ability to set goals, right. listen to the customers and help them set their next set of goals through right. the team that we have at CCI mm -hmm. of uh, very capable engineers that know the network from end to end. This is just the beginning. I have a lot more goals too. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned for all that. Oh so, yeah. Yep. All right. It's well, thanks, going. Mike. Cool. Thank you very much. Awesome job. Thank you. And if you cool. need to uh, uh, know more about automation, obviously go to our webpage, but get a hold of Mike. Get a hold of any of us. And then my hashtag, let's do this. Can't forget that. We almost did. Let's do this <laughs> with the hashtag in the front. Right. All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you.